This is what we're Josh doing. This video is going to show you how to get CyanogenMod 7 on the Motorola Click. About phone, Android 2.3.7. They do have stable and experimental builds for this. And right now it's currently on a nightly. Now I'm going to have fun flashing this thing back to stock so I can do this video for you guys. I know it's hard to see with this camera, but this is 2512. There's actually a much, much newer build, but for some reason, if you have the newer build and you try to flash the old zip, it will fail. But if you go back and you downgrade to 2512, then you can install the zip you need. Oh, and with 2512, this just turns the screen black. So you have to press this to confirm your selection. With the newer version that you would flash through ROM Manager, you can use this to make your selections. Installs it from SD card. Chooses it from SD card. Oh yeah, I wiped it. Holy cow. I will put the link in the description, but you have to use this zip. If you take an official zip from Motorola.com or anything else, the exploit's not there and it will fail. So I will put the link to ModMind Mobile in here, and it's actually the very first link that you Google. Motorola click root, click on it. It will tell you there's a newer procedure, but just ignore that. And download this zip right here and then we gotta send it to the SD card okay and then right here we have to rename this to update do not name it update.zip because it will do it update.zip.zip and how you'll tell that is alt tools folder options view hide Extensions for known file types, apply, OK, and there, see, update.zip. If I had typed in update.zip, it would have named it update.zip.zip, and it would not have worked. Now, it's really annoying seeing a song in .mp3 next to all of them, so I'm going to change it back to the way it was. So now it just says update, and then eject to click. Unmount, and all this was done in the old recovery. Just to be safe, I'm going to Advanced, Reboot Recovery. I don't know why it's trying to boot the system. To get the thing in recovery, it's easy. Camera, and power. As soon as you see the light flash, let go of power, and keep holding camera. And then let go, and press volume down. Install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, update.zip. Back, reboot system now. Okay, this is what you want to see. I can't do anything at all right here. It won't let me because I do not have a SIM card inserted. Menu, home, back. If you hold down power, it gives you quick options for Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth and stuff. But even if you turn on Wi-Fi, you can't choose any Wi-Fi access points or anything like that. But this is the one you have to use. Like I said earlier, if you use the official one from Motorola or any other one, it will just keep giving you errors and you won't be able to do it. You have to use this update.zip. Trust me, I've spent enough time trying to figure this out and redoing this over and over again to get it down to where I could do a video and show you everything. From here on out, it's pretty much just the computer. And here are the instructions. You do have to have ADB from the Android SDK and then you download these, this file, this file, and this file. This is the drivers for the phone. I already have the drivers installed. You click it, run the EXE right here, and it installs the drivers. You need to rage against the cage, and you need a super user. And you follow these commands. We're gonna do that right now. I just type in CMD and press enter. And in my clipboard manager, I type in CD. And there's the platform. This is where my platform tools are located. Yours might be different. Press enter. I'm going to show you real quick too. C, Android, SDK, platform tools. All the files you're going to use to flash your phone, you need to put in here. Like, this is the one they recommend you put in there. It's an older one. I always use the newer one. Rage Against the Cage. This is what's in the zip. 
the zip will have a few files in it. You put them all in here and close this out. Now we're going to just start copying and pasting commands. Copy, paste, enter. All right, I can type ADB shell. Copy this command, paste, enter, copy, paste, enter, exit, paste, copy, paste, And we're going to type ADB shell. We have a little, I can't think what it's called off my head. If you see a number sign, then the exploit did not work. And now the phone is rebooting. Now this command basically is just going to write the thing as read write instead of read only. And then exit. Paste. Enter. Copy. Paste. Enter. Okay, I did the SU one, so now I need this one. Paste. Enter. The phone is now rooted. And here's where we're going to install Clockwork. They want you to download this 2512. You can do that if you want to. And then when you finally get to CyanGen, you can flash the new one. I'm just going to be a little bit more advanced. Right here is the, the whole command that you would normally copy and paste if you wanted to. But I've already went in here and changed it out for the new one. I just manually typed in 5020 and then 5020 right here. So basically it's going to push the new recovery that's inside the Android SDK folder. Success. Type ADB shell. SU. And I, I don't, I always get an error right there, so I guess you can just disregard that. CD slash SD card. And then this is where you could copy this one. But like I said, I'm putting a new recovery on there. Paste, enter. All right, so the new recovery is on there now. I'm just going to do reboot, recovery. And that's it. The phone just vibrated, and now it's rebooting into recovery. See? Five, zero, to zero and I can choose this one to reboot to system I'm not going to be able to do anything because it's going to boot to the click zip that we installed see I can't do anything right now because I don't have a sim card we need to go back into recovery camera power let go of power keep holding camera let go and then press volume down why did it go to stock recovery cuz alt l why did it do that huh okay I bet I know what happened and I'm gonna hopefully remember to put this in a note before someone else makes the same mistake after you have custom recovery do not reboot system it will erase your custom recovery and reinstall stock recovery. And installing recovery is as simple as going back to ADB and doing it again. Okay, so I went back on the computer and I did the ADB commands again and got 5020 on there. I apologize for having a crappy camera. This is going to be a two part video. If you click the annotation on the screen or on this phone itself, it'll take you to the second video on actually how to install CyanogenMod 7. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.